Hello everyone, this is David from Studio One Expert. Today I'd like to show you something really interesting and very useful, at least in my opinion. So, I'm sure that many of you know this situation. You have a song where you are using a virtual instrument with multiple outputs, and you are sending the outputs of the instrument to the console so that you can control and mix them individually with the Studio One plugins or third-party plugins. The most typical example for this is probably a virtual drum instrument, like I have here, Easy Drummer. So I've got a MIDI track, which is going to Easy Drummer. Let's play it for a second. Great, and in the mix of Easy Drummer, I have the outputs assigned to individual channels, so that I can have them here expanded in the console, as you can see here, and on the instruments. So I have a channel for the kick, and then the snare, the hi-hat, the toms, we play soon, near the aisle, the overheads, and I've got an ambience channel. And I'm sending these six channels to a bus, which I made for them, so that I can solo and control them all at once. Okay, as you know, if you have done this already, you have to name them all individually and color code them and so on. Now, this is, of course, quite a bit of work. And would it be cool if you could save this whole configuration as a preset? so that whenever you want to use this in a song, you can just call up the preset and have everything like here, expanded, assigned, routed, named and color coded correctly. And you can just load this with one click. Now in Studio One, this was not possible at all before. And in version three, it still isn't officially, but I found a workaround for this, which I'd like to show you. Well, of course, even in version two, you could, uh, remove all the other tracks expect, except the drums and save the whole thing as a song template, which you can still do. And then you can open the template and then you have the same. But in this case, you always need to start with this template if you want to have these drums. And what if you want to, what if you also have like addictive drums or superior drummer on BFD and you don't know always at the beginning which one you'd like to use, right? So what other possibility do we have then? We will use multi-instruments, which got introduced with Studio One 3, to save this whole configuration as a preset. I will first show you how you can do this when you have already everything set up, like I have here in this song. And then I will show you how you can create such a preset from scratch. So, let's open the browser, go to the Instruments tab, and select any virtual instrument, it doesn't matter which one, I just impact here, I'd and drag it here, to the Instruments uh, tab in the console. This is the quickest way to create a multi-instrument. So I drag it and drop it simply here. And now I created a multi-instrument with Easy Drummer and Impact. Now, of course, the idea behind, uh, the behind multi-instruments was that you combine several different uh, instruments so that you can layer them. But uh, just because this was the original ID, it doesn't mean we can use it for something else. So we remove impact immediately by clicking remove. And now we are left with a multi-instrument, which contains just one instrument, in this case, Easy Drummer. So let's have a look at the console. Well, several things happened here. As you noticed here, we have our new multi-instrument here. Our channels disappeared, so it seems, and we have our bus. Uh, when I play it now, let's adjust the volume. I only have it playing here, the bass became redundant. So let's remove our bass. Yes. And now look what we have here. We have a small folder icon. Let's click this. Oh, there are our channels. But as you can see, they got a different color. This is due to a little bit uh, annoying thing what Studio One does, uh, which is randomizing colors if you import something. So first of all, let's 
select all these channels and give them back their color what they had. Drums are always green, obviously. And now we have our individual channels correctly named. And this new channel which got created titled multi instrument is basically nothing else than a bus. So it is a bus for the multi instrument. So let's rename it and call it again drums. So now it also looks exactly the same like we had before, uh, with one exception. We'll have to also rename the instrument here because it also got renamed. So let's click rename and call it easy drama. And now everything is like before with a very nice exception that we can simply click on this and expand or hide the channels. I have done a video a while back with the title How to get folders in the console, which you can find here on our Studio One Expert channel, where I showed how you can uh, set up all your audio tracks using folders and buses to work them like this, and that you have uh, small, small icon, uh, folder icons on the buses so that you can expand and hide the channels. And now with this method, it's also possible to use this um, principle with uh, virtual instruments with multiple outputs. This is very, very cool. So, okay, let's save this thing now. We just go here and click Store Preset. And this will, store, uh, this will save this whole configuration as a multi-instrument preset. So let's call this Easy Drummer. Since I have the Pop Rock extension loaded, I will call it Pop Rock. I don't need a description. We can give it a subfolder. You will see in a minute where this appears. So I will give it a subfolder called Drums. Let's click OK. And now if we scroll up here in the Instruments tab and expand the multi-instruments, we have a new folder here called Drums, which we just created. And inside is sitting one preset, the Easy Drummer Pop Rock preset. So let's test this now by opening a new song. We hit Ctrl and N and Enter. Let's open the console and drag this preset to the Instruments tab. And boom, there it is. Expand the channels. And here we have our bus called Drums and our individual channels named and color coded correctly as we had before. So from now on, every time you'd like to use Easy Drummer with uh, multiple outputs assigned in the console, you can just call up this preset and you're good to go. Ain't that great? But wait, it gets even better. Let's close this song and go back to the song we had before. Let's uh, enlarge the mixer and let's insert some plugins on the channels. Now in Studio One 3 we can just select all channels if you want to insert the plugin on all of them and go to the browser and let's say for example let's drag the compressor on all of them and also let's drag the Pro Q on all of them. So let's say we have used the plugins and mixed the sound which we are very happy with and we also like to save the whole thing with the plugins, so we can use it uh, anytime again. Now that's also possible because if we save the preset now, let's call it this time Pop Rock with FX. Hit OK. Open a new song again. The same, open the console. Let's go to our instruments. We have here our new preset we just created. Let's drag it here. And have a check. There we have it. So you can also save all plugins which you had on the channels or on the bus. I just didn't have any there. Included in the preset. Now this gets better and better. <laughs> so and now we can still do something more. So let's close this song again. Go back to our initial song one more time. 
And of course, many times you will have sand effects. For example, like um, like a reverb on the snare. Now you cannot include uh, sand effects to this preset. So if you have uh, an effects channel and you are sending uh, one of the channels there, you cannot include this. But we will use a workaround to make even this possible. So we will use a workaround in the workaround, so to speak. Now let's open the channel editor and go to the routing page of this channel and insert a splitter here. Put the Pro EQ back on the left side. And now we will insert a reverb plugin on the other side. Let's choose the excellent Phoenix Park by Exponential Audio. And I will go just with the default preset now, it doesn't matter for this demonstration. And with these small faders here, which got introduced with Studio, uh, Studio One 3.1, we cannot dial in the reverb amount. So, no reverb on the snare. Lot of reverb. So let's go a bit, a little bit like this. If I switch it off, you can hear the snare is dry. And now with reverb. So this configuration is basically nothing else than setting up an FX channel where you put the reverb plugin on and sending it directly from the channel to the FX channel because it's basically the same. We have one audio path with just the pure um, dry signal and then in parallel, because an FX channel is nothing else than a parallel channel, we have just a reverb. Important is of course that you have um, the dry and wet control in the reverb plugin set to 100% wet. And then you can just dial in the amount which you would normally use the send um, fader for. You can use now this fader here to dial in the amount of the reverb. So great, so we have a reverb on our snare, we, we could now also insert some reverbs on the toms and so on and so on. And once again, we can go to the instrument tab and select store preset. And now we will call this Easy Drama Pop Rock with FX and Reverb. Hit OK. Open a new song one more time. Open the console. Let's go to our instrument tab. There we have our new preset. Expand the channels and the console. And as you would expect, everything is like before. So this is really very comprehensive. So you can save the virtual instrument with all outputs labeled and color coded correctly, with inserted plugins and even with, so to say, send effects, but not use the send effects, but instead using the splitter to act like sound effects. So I hope you can see the big potential of this method and what a huge time saver this can be. You just need to set up your configuration with your channels and plugins one time, save it as a preset, and you can use it in the future in any song you like. Now that's basically it, but as promised, I will show you now how you can create such a configuration from scratch. Okay, so I opened up a new song. Let's open the browser and if you want to create such a multi-output configuration from scratch, you need to start in the Instruments tab with the Multi-Instruments, open this folder and here on top you have a preset just called New Multi-Instrument. Now this is an empty shell, so to say, for the Multi-Instrument. You can drag this and drop it here to the Instruments tab and now we have an empty Multi-Instrument. And now we can um, drag uh, the instrument we wish um, to this multi instrument. Let's take Easy Drummer again. There we have it. So, first thing, let's again rename the instrument here to Easy Drummer. And let's name this, let's name this bus Drums. Okay, 
let's open the instrument. And now this procedure, of course, will, de um, will be different uh, depending on the instrument you use. So if I want to have uh, individual channels in the console at each drummer, I need to open the mixer and click on this drop down menu and select multi-channel. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bug, but as you can see, the, um, the numbers, 1, 2, 4, 3 is missing, then here 8 and 9 is missing, then 9 is here and 10 is here, so something fishy here, I'm not sure if this is a bug, whatever. So let's just correct this and let's select here output 3, output 4, output 5, and let's go here with output 6. And I, don't, I will not use the other channels because for reverb I have better reverb plugins. So we will just use the first six channels again. And this time this is the modern Easy Drummer modern preset. Next we need to enable the outputs in the console. So we have them in Studio One in the console. We can do this directly from here. Let's activate six outputs. Close this. This one too. Now we have our channels here. And let's name them accordingly to easy drums, which we have here snare, ah sorry, kick, then we have here the snare. Uh, let's open the plugin so we know what the rest is. So we have snare, hi-hat, toms, hi-hat, I just keep the same naming like in the plugin so that I always know exactly which channel corresponds to which. And finally, ambience, EMB. Okay. Then the last thing we can do, this is of course optional, give it a color of our choice. Again, drums are green. We can give the bass a slightly different color, if we like. And now, of course, we could also insert plugins, do everything we want, and then we click again Store Preset. This procedure you already know. This time I'm calling this Easy Drama 2 Modern, since we are using the Modern Kit in Easy Drama 2. For the subfolder, let's enter Drums again, hit OK. And if we go now to Multi Instruments, open our Drums folder, and there we have it Easy Drama 2 Modern. So that's it. I hope that you will find this useful. If you have some comments or questions or just would like to let me know your opinion about the video, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. I wish you all a very happy Christmas, a nice time with your families, friends and relaxing holidays. Thanks for watching. I've been David. Bye bye.